Okay, so this video we are going to talk about a function of two variables. So you have f is a function of two variables. x and y and the goal is to figure out uh, what what it means to take the partial derivatives of f so there's going to be two two partial derivatives of f and uh, one with respect to x and one with respect to y and we are going to to go into the definitions of both of them from various angles so we are going to begin by just noting uh, what what the two what the notations for the two are so so right now we're doing everything at a single point so i guess i should specify the point so we are doing a point x not y not so x not y not is a point in the domain of the function and and the goal is to to describe what the derivative of f is at at this point so the first let me just say what the notation is then i make a I make uh, two two parts of this. So one is the the derivative with respect to x and the derivative with respect to y. So the derivative with respect to x at this point will be denoted it's denoted like this. And and now you have to specify at what point you're doing it. And the point specification is Is like this. Now notice that that you have to specify not just the x value but also the y value. So when you're changing the derivative with respect to x, it, you're required to specify the value of uh, the point both corners. So when this is a little important, we'll come back to that later. This is the x derivative, uh, which is also denoted as. Let's write this here. It's also denoted as. Uh, next line. It's also denoted as f sub x of x naught. Why not? So it's the derivative. So f sub x here means derivative of f with respect to x at the point x not y not. Now what's the what's the notation for the derivative with respect to y? We have to use a different pen for the derivative with respect to y. So you have So the only difference is you have dy here. Again, do you have to specify the point? Uh, and this you can also write down as f sub y of x naught comma y naught. Okay. So. So, so, so these are the two derivatives we want to define. Now I want to actually define what does this mean. Okay, so I'm going to write down the definition. So, so, so far we've used the notation. There's a derivative with respect to x and derivative with respect to y. Now I want to define what the derivative means. Now this is defined uh, as the. So this is defined. Basically, what we want is we want to differentiate with respect to x, treating y constant. So the way I'm going to write this is this is defined as d dx at x equals x naught. So this requires a little explaining. Let me just write down the corresponding thing for y. What do you think the corresponding thing for y should be? So it should be, but I need to explain what they mean. So d dy of f of x naught comma y at y equals y naught. Okay, so what does this mean? Well, this one means you are differentiating with respect to x this function. So what is this function you are differentiating? So we, let me just write that down. We are differentiating the function which sends x to f of x comma y naught. 
Now y0 is an actual number. So this now is just a function. So this is differentiating. What does it mean? So, so y0 is now an actual number. So we are just differentiating the function where with only one variable input x and you're treating the other variable input y as a constant with value y0. So now you're just a function of one variable. It sends x to f of x comma y0. And if, and if you know the actual value y0, then you can actually get an expression, just a function of one variable. And now we are, now, since this is now a function of one variable, it makes sense to de differentiate it with respect to the variable. And then, ev and evaluate the derivative at a particular point. And that actually is exactly what we do to get the definition here. Okay. Uh, now here, we are, we again have to, we can think of this as differentiating. Oh, I should finish writing that differentiate f of x x at with respect to x at x equals x. So that's exactly what we're doing here. Now what are we doing on the other side? So we are differentiating the function which sends y to f of x naught comma y. So again x naught is a number. So now this is a function of just one variable. And you're differentiating the function of one variable with respect to that variable at the value y equals y naught. Okay, so that's uh, that's what we're doing. Now, and what, what, now one thing I want to emphasize, and I'll come back to this again, is that, or rather, there's two things I want to quickly say, which I'll come back to again. One is that one is that the value of the derivative doesn't just depend on the x on the value of x naught. The value of the derivative depends on both x naught and y naught. The y naught is fixed right in in here. So the y naught value is fixed. If I change y naught, then the value of the derivative could change. And if I change x naught, the value could change. So the value of the partial derivative with respect to x depends on both coordinates. The val similarly, the value of the partial derivative with respect to y depends on both coordinates. Okay. Uh, there's another issue thing, minor issue, which is that 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 in order to make sense of what it means to say the partial derivative with respect to x. I have to know sort of what what other variable I'm keeping constant. So that's, that's a little subtle point, but but basically it doesn't just make sense to say what's the partial derivative with respect to x. You, you're really saying the partial derivative with respect to x holding y constant. Okay. 